Okay, here she is, the finished face, all cured and ready to go. <laughs> I must say, I, I really do like this color palette. I gravitate toward blues and greens, if you know anything about me, but this actually is speaking to me. And I love the way the knockoff shimmer is playing with the TLPs. There's the Rose Quartz uh, Athena, golden looking color. The simplicity they all work beautifully together I love it and this particular technique um, I like to pour cleanly I don't like to go over the rim of the vase and if I do go over it just a tad I will take a piece of sandpaper and go over it lightly a 220 grit but I like to keep the lip clean and I like to keep the bottom clean too And I also like the convenience of adding the color and the pigments directly to the resin versus just pouring the acrylic paint over top. And there's nothing wrong with that. I just want to eliminate a step. And if I can get a product that I love, hey, that's what I'm going to do. So when you add acrylic paints to your resin, be sure and don't add more than one tenth of acrylic paint to resin. So one part paint. 10 parts resin and some paints are a little bit denser than others so I might even go less than that maybe an eighth or a fifth depends on your paint uh, if you put too much paint in the resin it's not going to cure and it's going to get tacky and if you watched the end of the video uh, I'm sure you noticed that the opal magic that I put in the resin was thick that was the first coat on the base it thickened up quick and that's because I put too much of it in the resin so it worked out for me I got lucky I added more resin to it but still it was a little bit too thick but I went for it so like I said I got lucky <laughs> all right now for the um, little extras here there was resin left over so I decided to pour them in some molds and I love making these uh, when my godchildren come up We'll walk the neighborhood and put them at the base of a mailbox or leave them in a park setting somewhere. This is the knockoff and I've got the TLP um, simplicity in here. It's really pretty. This is sockeye. I didn't use that in this uh, vase, but isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. And also Athena, I can't get it off the table. This is the Athena. It shifts color, but it's kind of hard to see it in this light I have, unfortunately. And lastly, I made this little mermaid tail. I brushed the inside of the mold with the, first it was the rose quartz, and then the sockeye, and poured the simplicity in it. So, there you go. It's cute. I'll probably make more of these. Yeah, I think I'll make more of these. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I really do. You have a blessed day now.